welcome back to my channel thank you so so much for tuning in thank you guys for just loving me so much i have received a lot of love from many people so thank you guys for being here for tuning into my video for taking your time and pressing that button to tune into my video thank you so much i appreciate it this tutorial is for installing your closure and i did this video because i know there is a lot of people when they buy these the first thing they do is cut which is one thing um i shouldn't have done like i know you have done it you have bought that weave and you have cut your closure your frontal or whatever if you are a victim of cutting your closure then this is for you we're not supposed to do that okay we are not supposed to do that because if you want to look natural then you won't <laughs> you won't cut your frontal or your closure or whatever the first thing you should do all the time if you buy a weave don't cut it um right away the first thing you should do is that you should cut it like because it usually comes in a frontal where it ends here i think here or wherever or here or here or above my eyebrow or whatever so it usually comes like that so the first thing you must do before cutting it is that you pluck your weave if your weave is not plucked then pluck it there are so many videos on youtube that show us how to pluck our weaves so that's the first thing you should do before you cut your frontal your lace frontal your lace closure or whatever so that's the first thing you must do you must plug your weave then you can cut but don't cut till here but cut till i think here here and then you can lay you can lay your wig if you haven't done that then it's fine this video is for you i have done this video for people who have cut their clothes just like me because i didn't know i had no idea that we should just leave it as is so this video is definitely for you if you have a wig that is just like that it doesn't have a front or whatever first things first you must um pluck your weave even if it has like a small closure like this as you can see like this small space here if you have a weave that is like that just pluck your weave first then when you pluck your weave then you are going to be fine you can lay your edges and you can do whatever i hope that you do enjoy this video and thank you so so much for tuning in don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe like i don't understand why you haven't subscribed to my channel so guys this is my wig this is the wig that i'll be um installing on my head today so i did pluck it here in front if you want your hair or your head to look natural then i suggest that you do pluck it this is the glue that i'll be using today and this glue has been so good like i love this glue i can even do my baby hairs with this glue so yes do buy it it's available at this cam right now this is um essential because you need to make your wig stick so um i i really need this and since people snatch our weaves from our heads then we really do need this Like my hair guys there's a bump now because i have short hair so ish i can't really look at the snoop i need to just put my hair down like this i don't even have a hair dryer <laughs> so hey <laughs> so i'm just gonna leave it to dry on itself i'm gonna be using my foundation just to make it look uh natural just to make it look like my skin color so I'm just gonna leave it to dry naturally um, no not naturally I'm just gonna use something to help it Then I'm gonna spray again. So you should feel your um, wig cap. It should feel tacky. 
Let's leave it to dry a little bit. Not dry, but it should be tacky. Um, so that it can be able to stick. Because if it's wet like this, then it's not, your wig is not going to stick. Okay. So right now it's tacky enough. So I'm just going to apply my glue just here in front of my cap. So I'm going to leave it to dry. This one I think it will take long. Oh wow. So guys, now it's tacky enough so I can put on my wig. So let me just do Put it like this now. Then I'm going to tie it to the back because I don't want it to disturb me. I'm just going to tie it loosely at the back. Then, as you can see, yeah, I'm just going to bring it to the front. Don't necessarily need to stick here on the sides. The most important part is here in front. So Right now, I'm just going to put something on my head just to stick it down for like 10 minutes. Then I'll be back and show you guys how it looks, um, if it does move or not. But it's not going to move because this glue is amazing. My high school teachers would be really disappointed because I'm using my school tie <laughs> to do this. I'm just going to leave it for like 10 minutes to stick down. Then after 10 minutes, I think it will be fine. It would, it would have stuck on my head. So, 10 minutes is done, guys. So, I'm just going to remove this. And... Guys, as I really did in the bed, I can see that stuff. Oh, but it's fine. We're going to see what we can do with that. Yeah, boo. It is stuck. Yeah, it is stuck. So, I'm just going to comb my hair back then i'm just gonna uh, i need to comb my hair back okay as you can see guys like here it's like my scalp i don't know if you guys can see that but here like that's the scalp sign which is what i wanted really so yeah boo yeah boo just parting my baby hairs but I think I shouldn't do that right now but whatever just parting my baby hairs but I'm still gonna part them again because I think this is a lot
I'm just gonna wipe off the excess glue that you can see which is visible here because I don't want it to be like this it can't be like this I'm still gonna do baby hair so it's gonna be messy it won't look tidy it will be really untidy if I leave it like this so I'm just gonna use my water and my cotton wool cotton pad and just spray my cotton pad with the water and just wipe off the excess glue so guys i've just wiped off um the excess glue as you can see there's none of it right now so right now um i've parted my baby hairs right i'm just gonna cut off um cut them off because i don't want them to be this long so guys i'm just gonna apply my got to be glue on my toothbrush because i think the toothbrush really um does uh, better than anything so i'm just gonna use that so right now i'm just gonna spray my toothbrush like this guys i'm ready i waited for like five minutes so i'm ready to take this off to see my edges and voila so it's stuck down and everything looks intact so um right now what i'm gonna do is to just wipe off the excess glue as i did i don't know what's happening here but i'm gonna fix it but um i'm just gonna wipe off the excess glue because i'm gonna put makeup on guys when it's raining like this like i like to take i like to film when it's raining like this because the lighting is so perfect it doesn't really change the whole day so if the weather is like this then that means the lighting is perfect for me then it's perfect i don't know if this wig is straight like i can't really see actually but ooh, guys and i hope that you did learn how to do it it's not easy for me not for me it's not easy shame it is not easy it is easy to just lay your hair and challenge you with glue and all that but when you have to do like baby hairs which you don't have to do it like it's a personal preference but you don't really have to do it but me nagging because me have pap you did it but I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna apply foundation around these areas and yeah, this is how it looks when my hair is down. So as you guys have seen that I have laid my wig and I have done my edges. I tried my best guys, like I, don't drag me for my edges. I tried my best to do these edges. I shouldn't have done them, <laughs> but I did. Oh, my laugh is so evil, but I did. I did. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and thank you guys for just loving me and liking my video. I'll see you next time. God bless you. Thank you. Bye.